Hello Virgo. This is your general mid-month reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and anywhere else in your chart that you're interested in. Welcome back if you're coming back. Hi, hi, hi. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. And if you're new, hello. How are you? Come in and have, sit down. Have a cup of tea. Uh, I think that's all. I'm a little bit vague today, so bear with me. I think I have a few people wanting to be channeled, so if I change my accent, you will know why. Well, all right, and with that, let's see what's going on one more for Virgo mid-month September 2020. You. <laughs> Shake that off. All right. Ace of Wands. Beautiful. Nice crack. And you've manifested this. So very nice. That's the overall for the second half of September. Brand spanking new start. Passionate, fiery. All that fun stuff. Inspirational. That you've wanted go you virgo okay let's see what's going on two of cups love is in the air that's how that's the current situation two of cups brand new passionate start very nice yep again you have drawn this in you have been the, ma the magician that has drawn in this. Um, you've manifested this new love. And you've done it by being very loving, very open, gentle, um, not controlling. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah. You're seeming very balanced. You're feeling very balanced. Look at all of these. Lots of um, sacral chakra energy here. Very passionate. Could be someone from your past. You're not seeing just how clearly you decided this. And how much energy is behind it there's a lot of energy put behind this union your higher self is talking about the six of cups this could be a past life soulmate or someone from your past but it's very fiery energy Two, two, two. Couple, couple, couple. Beautiful. Oh, no. Coming up, Nine of Swords. What are we having sleepless nights about? What's that about? some truth have you spoken honestly about this have you spoken to this person honestly about what you want have you spoken your truth maybe there's something you, you haven't said maybe there's something you haven't said to them and you're having sleepless nights about it because you're worried that it'll cause the end of this relationship but this is your wish this is your wish come true. So what you need to do is speak your truth. You've manifested this person for a reason. This is healing for you. Yeah, the advice is 
the wish card again. You've got wishes everywhere. Wishes coming true. Nine of Cups. Oh, yeah. oh you jumped out. Ah. Seven of Wands. Now, it jumped and it flicked around. So, it was a kind of half in reverse and half not in reverse. And what that's saying is you don't have to... You don't have to be defensive anymore, but your boundaries will be in place if you speak your truth. The advice here is you have your wishes coming true. Okay, this couldn't be any clearer. Back up. Let's let's just re rewind. In the recent past, you manifested, magician, through being loving and open and generous and kind and emotionally supportive and sitting in that energy. You have manifested what you want. This is the brand new start waiting for your ships to come in. So you have waited for your ships to come in. They are here and they have come in with a passionate brand new start. That is the overall. Currently, you're in the Two of Cups energy. This is love. Okay? Clear, plain and simple. Lots of grrr, sacral energy going on there. Passionate action. Not saying anymore. Two of Coins. You are feeling very balanced. You've received... This is this see this you and this is what you've received this this too what you're not seeing is how strongly you manifested this and how it was it was a deep deep desire it's past life soulmate come back to help you Get over sleepless nights worrying about what everybody else thinks and whether you will be lost, left, hurt, wounded or shamed, anything, okay? Speak your truth. You have manifested this person to resolve whatever it was and this is your person, okay? Speak your truth, be honest, be open and ask them to do the same for you. Call them in. Put whatever is unresolved, let it die. Let the past the burdens that you are carrying, fears and worries, let them die because that is actually healing. It's, it's green, heart chakra, healing, love, all of the beautiful universal energy, love, healing coming in for you once the past is let let die the advice here is that this is your wish come true enjoy it revel in it cherish it dance and celebrate and know spiritually that your boundaries are in place you've learned from the past and they're there. You don't have to fight for them or be frightened they're going to be taken away anymore. It's just, they're, they're there. And this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Any more messages for Virgo? Yep. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You were watching. Soulmate. This is your soulmate. Anything? Yep. There you go. You're worried about gossip. You're worried about what will be said or what was said or there's some leftover carry on. And forgiveness is the key. And not just forgiving other people. Forgiving yourself. Okay? You have to forgive yourself. Look at the colours in here. Speak your truth without shame, without 
fear of loss. Reclaim yourself by forgiving yourself. And once you've forgiven yourself for whatever this is, you will put... The, the, the power it has over you will die and you will heal. And that will be no more. This is your person, my loves. This is your person. I love this reading for you. I hope you have a happy rest of September. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Love, hugs, and a kiss. Bye.